We started doing Kids Monopoly. And he keeps beating me, and then he wants the game to keep going, so he keeps giving me money from the bank. He's too sweet. Oh my gosh. Ashy, Ashy, gentle with mama. Wow. Welcome to my life. So I'm Samantha Goodstead. I'm a writer. I'm an actress. I'm a mom to two little boys. Uh, I have a blog and I'm a business owner. I have a content studio called Don't Call Me Mommy. I produce, write, direct, and create um, original and branded content. I was born in Toronto, Canada. I have uh, two older brothers, David and Jared. My family was really funny. We laughed a lot starting from a young age and actually at the age of five, I came home from camp and I was like, I want to be an actress. And they were like, what? But they indulged and signed me up for some acting classes. It was a very like musical, creative house. At the same time, I also got into tennis, which is a whole other part of my life, but I started playing competitive tennis. I, I would encourage anyone to, like if they're raising kids, like I'm gonna do this with mine, to have a sport, to have an activity, something that they focused on, um, where you have to like just have grit and like, and, and like learning that from at the age of eight, that's like priceless. Um, honestly, my partner always says I'm fearless and that no never bothers me and I truly believe I wasn't born that way. I think that came from tennis. I feel the most me when I'm on the tennis court. I lost so many times until I started winning and it made that winning so much better. I could have the craziest few weeks and be like falling flat on my face, but as soon as I get home and I see my two little boys, I feel super grounded and like calm. Before I became a mom, I was an actress in commercials. I was like the beer girl, I was the bitchy lawyer, and I was the girl who died in horror movies. And I, I just used to get frustrated with like waiting for permission to be creative. I was like, I have so much in me to give. I like have so much I want to do and so many characters I want to play, mostly comedy. I was not getting a shot at comedy. And the second I became a mom, I was like, if something's gonna take me away from this baby, it's gotta be awesome. And so it shifted my whole way I was thinking about my work. And so I just started creating my own stuff. Everything happened that year that I became a mom and I just decided I wanted to sort of take everything into my own hands and like talk about what I was experiencing. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out details um, for our holiday party next week. I want to see if we can get Shane, shirtless Shane. And Ooh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be in ugly sweaters, but I feel like he should be in like, like a Santa outfit, but like no shirt, obviously, because everyone's expecting that. What do you think? I personally feel like, like the more shirtless men, the better. So I'm totally on board with that idea. Don't Call Me Mommy was birthed one night at uh, the other room on Abbot Kinney in Venice. My partner, Haley, uh, is a mom. She's a child a little younger than my two kids. Again, her trajectory was similar. She was a film school grad, actress. It took us like six months to plan drinks. We went out. At this time, I had a three and five-year-old and she had a one-year-old. And she sat me, like we were sitting across the table drinking and she grabbed my hand and she was like, why didn't anyone tell me this? We just started riffing. We were like, no one told us this, this, this. And it was these real truths of motherhood that no one talks about because they were scared to talk about it. Literally topics like, sex after you have a baby, breastfeeding in public. And I had a pitch meeting the next day and, and they bought it in the room and I called her and I was like, I think I sold the series. She's like, what series? I was like, the one we wrote on the napkin. Literally, we wrote it on a napkin. Did I just say that? Did I just say that? Did I just say that? Oh, I totally just said that. Let me smell your butt. Where did your clothes go? Stop licking the cat. Come pee with me now. We don't run with knives. Don't feed your booger to the dog. We don't brush our butt cracks with our toothbrush in this house. When I was breastfeeding my first kid, I went to a party and I thought I had it all together. And I, I remember I, I forgot to bring all the parts to my pump and I had to like, we just wrote an article about this. I had to like hand express myself into like a sink in a public bathroom. These are moments where you feel your lowest, but then they're funny when you revisit them and write about them to hundreds of millions of people later. I quickly got up and raced to the unisex bathroom, stripping down to my bra as milk started to leak out of both sides, getting everywhere. I leaned over the sink and started milking myself. Right there, 
in the unisex bathroom at the Viceroy. After that happened, I went out and waited for Daniel as if I hadn't just lived that horror. He arrived predictably 45 minutes late and I'm pretty sure only I could smell the dried breast milk on my dress. Cause you read it and you're like, wow, I relate and I'm not alone in this. And so I wanna provide that for everyone in my community. I'm an okay cook. I'm kind of terrible at DIYs and like no one wants me doing their crafts or anything with them. But I'm an awesome mom and that's what matters.